One of the most widely used peripherals in the electricity industry is terminal. The main task of these terminals is to connect two or more wires or connect voyeurs to a component. Temporarily. And it is done firmly and in standard the. And the first step, we need to learn how to insert them to do that in this schematic tab and from the. Insert components panel I select, I can menu, as you see the insert component dialog box will be shown I'm going to find terminals connectors I can select it you can see types of terminal styles and terminal behavior the circles choir triangle hexagon and diamonds are the types of terminal side and the other tabs fit descriptions are available so I select one of these terminals and then I have to specify some point for it. After doing that, a new dialog box will be displayed. That makes it possible to edit the inserted terminal you can even tear in the tigers through added box. Attack ideas. Also, there is a recent attack idea which represents already assigned tag tabloidy to this terminal. And you can edit it. And then no added box to specify terminal number, no one to choose OK, to see the insert the terminal. With the assigned tag and no. Joe explained in more detail and also added this insert a terminal. I'm going to use Edith component. So I right click on the symbol and then select added component to open the inserted at the terminal. Symbol dialog box for the next time. As you know, you can edit the tiger's trip and number and the location for each time that you want. But what I'm going to do is to explain about modify area and modify properties area. The add modify button can be used to associate a terminal symbol to an existing terminal beside modify button. You can see pick person that makes it possible to select a single terminal to associate. To expand this dialog, balls in its news details bottom to see the Catholic data descriptions and the other areas for your particular terminal. Also by using Catholic Lookup, you can search for another detail which you want to be assigned by. Choosing Details For the another time, the box will return to previous appearance and by choosing, OK, you can exit. This dialog box. There is another matter to insert terminals that is using panel sap and in the terminal footprints. Panel drop down and then choosing insert terminals schematics list that you see in your dollar box will be displayed. The project button is selected by default, which is for extracting terminal, at least by choosing. OK. You will go to next click box and you can select the drawings that you want to be processed, select each one that you want, then in the lower area, choose process and the selected drawing will be moved to bottom list also by keeping control key. You can choose many drawings simultaneously or by selecting do all bottom. All the remaining drawings will be moved now select OK bottom this far the same as the schematic components. Dialog box that had been explained in the previous tutorial video. If you want to change and also back to previous step, you can use reload button to do that, select the desired doing that you want for the second time so you can select the schematic terminals to insert on panel 
and then in the downside of this box you have insert bottom note that the insert bottom will be activated. After selecting the schematic terminal, I'm going to insert it. Then a new dialog box will be displayed in this section. You need to use catalog lookup to search your desired catalog and assign it to the terminal. To the next part, you have to choose a boss and then specify location for inserting your terminal. Click on the point that you want to insert your terminal, then you need to define the direction. So just move the cursor onto the desired direction is obtained, then click on the screen to insert it. After doing that for the second time, parallel dialog box will be displayed and you can edit or intel required information that you want. Choose the OK button to exit this dialog box and the schematic terminals dialog box will be displayed. Again. And if you do not want to insert another terminal, you can choose close to finish it. After doing this part, a new window will be shown that asks you to update the other drawings because the other drawings may include child components or related panel components, you can choose to do that. Or just skip this part. The topic that I'm going to explain in this section is to how copying terminal block properties, sometimes. You need to copy properties of terminal and assign them to another terminals. I want this demo file and here I have two terminals which I had inserted before, and I'm going to copy the block properties of this terminal and apply to this one. First, I want to show you the block properties of this component, so I write, click on it and then choose added components to and in the open box. I will select the block properties and also see the properties here. I exit from this dialog box and now I want to copy this block properties. So to do that in the schematic tab of the ribbon and also in the edit components drop down, there is copy terminal block properties tool. Now I want to select it and then and the command line. As you see, you are prompted to select master terminal, which is the terminal that you want to copy. Properties After doing that, you have to select the order terminal that you want to apply the master terminal. Properties to it in the last step by pressing enter. It will be done. To see the resolve and also the appropriateness of target terminal, you can just observe the block properties of this terminal. So just right, click on the terminal and select edit components and see the block properties of this terminal here, which is same as the master terminal you had used. It is possible to jump out or link two or more terminals together to do that in the schematic tab of the ribbon and also in the added components dropped out. You can select add a jumper after that in the command line, you will be asked to select terminal and after that you can select the order jumper terminals. I'm going to do that and the command will be continued until you press enter. Our presenter and a new dollar box, which is named at Mealy Band Jumpers will be shown for me in this area when you choose the jumper. It is extended and the two terminals which I selected are displayed for me. If you so show Watson, this dialog box will be expanded and the two terminals which I have linked are 
displayed here. Now I'm going to choose AK to show you the two jumper terminals. I want to select Edit Jumper 2 for the second time and select the base terminal. And this part, there is an option in the command line that is show what I write S, which is the first letter of show word and press enter a line will be displayed. This line represents the jumper and is a temporary line that is drawn between these two related terminals. And if you're just zooming or zoom out on it, it's a will be disappeared.